Hey, hi you guys, Aries. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. Well, we're going to see what energies are coming through for you today, Aries. We've got the Rider Weight Tarot, we've got the Love Tarot, and we've got the Love Oracle from Islandine Wellness. We have some letters, names, times, and dates. Your first card just popped out, Aries. This is Leo Energies. This is the Five of Wands, Fire Energy. This is some kind of struggle. You may be working at cross purposes with another person or other people. This is trying to build something that you will find success coming. This is a struggle. It could be petty arguments, battles, fighting even, bickering. It doesn't have to be. This is people that should just agree to disagree. And remember what side you are battling on. This could be a Leo. Aries. Your second card. This is what's going on right now. It could be a challenge, an obstacle. It could be restricting you, this Seven of Swords, Air Energy. This is Moon in Aquarius. This is someone who is using evasive tactics. They're being sneaky. This is someone that's looking back over their shoulder, trying to take the right steps with care. And if they're not careful with those words, those five of swords in her hands, they could cut theirself. This is a self-sabotaging behavior. Your third card has come out. Oh, this is a really good card, Aries. Number 17 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The star. This could be an Aquarius. Aquarius could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. I put some links in the description box below. It's a new description box. And it has three astrology links in it, so you could choose which ones you like the best. It's on the top this time instead of the bottom like it used to be. The star gives us great hope. It's great love. This is someone that's full of inspiration. They're a guide. This is your wishes coming true, dreams coming true. The eight-pointed star represents Venus. This is the star that lights your way and guides you, and your stars are aligning. The bottom of the deck was the death card, number 13. This is things that are changing and they will not stay the same. This could be a Scorpio. Pluto and Saturn ruin this, rule this card. These could be new opportunities coming after discovering what no longer fits in your life. Here is your love oracle. If you guys like to join my channel and help support me, you will get priority treatment with your comments. I'll be responding to those right away, and you'll get an Angel Answers Oracle card message. Really like to thank you for supporting my channel. It really helps me out a lot, and it keeps me going, Aries. Thank you so much. Thank you to your new viewers for, for being here. And thank you to my old viewers, too. You guys have really kept me going with your comments. I really love you guys. Love Oracle, we had two cards just pop out for you. We got, oh, <laughs> let the past go. 
Same as the death card there, uh, maybe. I know I've never read these before. These are brand new cards for me. Let the past go. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our pasts hold us back from our future. And your future is the star. So remember, don't let your past hold you back. Focused on money. I'm currently focusing on my career and finances. My main priority is financial stability. Here's your Island Time Wellness card. Hope you guys like this style of reading. I might take a little longer seeing I'm shuffling on camera. I know that a lot of people have asked me to do that, but before I had the learning channel going on, so it needed to stay fixed for the people that needed to learn. Now we've got over 6,000 combinations. Here's the card that came out. Just hit me and it fell on the floor. And it's an ace. Aces are always new beginnings. It says, hand of cards. There's an ace of spades on there. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic. That's also the seven of swords, being strategic. You have options. This is not showing your hand. It could even be gambling. We've got Leo, Aquarius, double Aquarius, and Scorpio. Okay, now we're going to get you a date, time, dice. Okay, we've got number 82, which equals a 10. That's also endings and new beginnings. Number 82. Number 89. Maybe you were born in 1989 or 1982. Okay, slow. Something is happening slowly. And number 45, this could even be someone's age. Number 45, which equals a nine. And nines always represent culmination. And they give fruit unto the self. Here's some letters. And their letters are X. Someone could have an X in their name, or this could even be an X about an X. But you gotta let that pass go. Letter E. Letter E. So we have X and E, and we have a Y. Could be in your name or someone else's name. We have an S. S, Aries, we have a U, lucky number U, or letter U, it's like a horseshoe, and we also have a V, for victory, yeah. we have an L, L, could be in your name or someone else's that you're dealing with. We have another X. Two X's here? Wow. Okay. Ah, uh, and we have a heart. A heart. Someone's heart is involved. And now I'm going to pull you some names. And I have about 40 spaces left. So if you would like to have your name included, you can drop it in the comments box. And remember to turn your notifications on because uh, Nate, that's the only way you get my reply in your free readings. We have Stephen, Stephen Aries, Stephen. Got a lot of names here. Vanessa, Vanessa. We have the top 200 names. Actually, I've added a couple because some people have asked to have their names. Paige. There's 200 names 
that are the most popular in the United States because most of my viewers are from the United States. But I will add your name. This is Phoebe. Phoebe. We have Phoebe, Paige, Stephen, and Vanessa. We have Joyce. Joyce. I'd sure like to know if one of your names pop up. Seth. Seth, Gavin, Omar, Maddie, how about that? That's someone who's put their name in lately. Maddie, would you like to know if this reading resonates for you? Let me know in the comments box if you like this style of reading. Thank you guys so much. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's your new treat. She loves her new treats. Thanks, you guys.